Hello everybody and welcome to another 3v3 Super Turtle on Frozen Valley. Now, one question that I get asked all the time is, how do you set up those Vulcans, dude? And I know I've showed off many times, but I know I also get uh, new subscribers pretty often, so in case you guys can't be bothered to look at all my old videos, Here's me showing you how to set up the Ella Vulcan once again. You saw that I pelicaned directly in front of that elephant while there was an air unit in front of it. The air unit keeps the pelican from moving forward any further and it drops the cobra right inside, nice and snugly inside of Mr. Elephant there. So that is how you do it and you can stack as many cobras as you want. You can stack any sort of units in there. You can put tanks. You can put wolverines, anything can go inside of it. Just cobras work the best because they don't move. And you can actually, the whole purpose of the Vulcan is to try and absorb Mac Blast. And we're going to be needing to do that this game because we are playing against Cutter, Cutter, Arbiter. Oh my god. Why would you even want a Super Turtle against that? That's got to be the dumbest combo to Super Turtle against. Just because they have two Mac Blasts and a Ghastly Arbiter, that Arbiter could just walk into our bases and they could Mac us eight times and there'd be really nothing we could do about it except D-bomb randomly. So, things could get pretty interesting here, but, you know, maybe not for a while. We don't like to Super Turtle against a combo like this unless there's a, at least two newbie noobs. So I believe Orange Cutter is a Captain, the Green Cutter is a Major, but that Arbiter, man, he's a General. He ain't messing around. He's gonna kill us all by himself. But, just, uh, well, after I went over to their base there to get some, try and get some veterancy on my tanks, they started pushing up with their ODSTs. And it looks like Buttercup has a Medic Marine inside of that tower that was used in the reactor. And here you can see uh, Buttercup's Vulcan going to town. That is my elephant there, of course. I like to use elephants on the Vulcan just to help it absorb that much more damage from the Mac Blast. And as you can see, this guy's ready to go. He's ready to Mac something, man. He's like, let me Mac him. Let me Mac him, man. I'm going to Mac someone. I'm going to Mac him. But looks like he's stowed it away for now to move his units in a little bit further. He's going to drop some more ODSTs. And I'm sure that Mac Blast is going to come down now that my tanks are stuck. Oh, yep, here it comes. The Super oh, Mac it Blast! <laughs> it does unfortunately claim one of my tanks, but it's early in the game right now, so I'm just going to build another tank. Not going to throw him inside of a Cobra or Wolverine just yet, because I don't have any veterancy, although it probably would have been beneficial for me to have thrown that Spartan directly into that Vulcan stack that I made next to our reactor because this purple guy is starting to move up on our side. He's got hunters and vampires. That's anti-vehicle and anti-air. What are we supposed to do against that man? Oh my god. Anyways, again, um, in the very last Super Turtle I uploaded, I talked about getting veterancy on this map with your tanks. You just show up at that either that orange base there or where red's base is right now once they take that either one of those bases will do if they build turrets or supply pads on it then you can run in there canister it and leave just don't get surrounded by ODSTs and since there's two cutters right now that stuff's pretty damn dangerous or should I say dangerous <laughs> looks like buttercup's gonna try and kill that arbiter I think that Arbiter is two-starred, by the way, so he's going to have to be careful. Two-star Arbiters don't mess around. Also, it looks like Buttercup's going to lose that tank. I'm going to try and cock-block these Hunters with an ODST squad. It seems to have worked, kind of, but yeah, you just got to be careful. Hunters do a lot of damage to tanks, so just keep that in mind. You don't have 11 or 12 stars yet, so... As soon as like five or six hunters start shooting at you, get out of there. As you can see, I'm almost going to lose my tank too. Come on, man. What are you doing? You trying to lose your tanks here? Jeez. 
They're still shooting at me. They're still pushing up. They're trying to finish off this tank. I am moving it to the behind my reactor. I'm going to try to heal it. And here is Calm Banana Scarab. Looks like Buttercup dropped the cryo, but missed because all of his vampires started moving up to try and find my tank, maybe? Looks like they found it, but they aren't going to go after it. They're going to try and kill all of the engineers and super mac yes, the that. Scarab. Oh, we'll but instead of killing the Scarab, it just absolutely destroys my Vulcan. There is nothing left except for the black bar broken down the husk of my elephant. So my entire Vulcan gets destroyed. Fortunately, my tank is still alive. <sighs> but yeah, my Vulcan is gone, and I'm going to have to set it all up all over again. But I don't think I make another Vulcan after this. Buttercup, uh, I'm not sure if he agreed to this, but I'm usually against cutter players, if they super mac my Vulcan and kill it outright, I don't usually make another one. I'll usually make some flamers like this, because they're obviously making a lot of hunters, making a lot of ODST squads, so having a lot of flamers will be helpful, and I'll just put like a few Cobras behind that reactor there. So, oh well. It does happen. Vulcans do get Mac blasted. Now there's this, the two-star Arbiter raging down Call Bananas, three-star Chief, and I'm like, dude, I'm going to clutch Mac Blast to start moving right now. And he does, and I super Mac that Arbiter. Oh yeah, that feels good. I love killing <laughs> veteranized leaders and veteranized scarabs and stuff. That's one of my favorite things to do. That's why I like playing as Cutter over Anders. Anders has her advantages. That super cryobomb makes super turtling so much easier. But having the super mac to get rid of things like two star arbiters or one star scarabs. If you ever have to deal with a scarab that has like 90 engineers, which by the way, that's really annoying if you've never had to do that before. But um, if you ever have to deal with that, it's quite possible they'll get a one star or even a two star scarab on you. So very useful to have a Mac Blast in case they let their guard down. So, I've been paying this guy regular visits as usual, and this time he was trying to, I guess, ward me off with his Mac Blast. So I just dropped the D-bomb, I'm gonna canister some units, and then leave. Be happy with that. Okay, so it's a uh, few minutes in the future. Buttercup is, uh, he's got his gremlins next to the Vulcan up here, and another gremlin next to Calm Banana Scarab. Just be careful with your gremlins that you don't stun your teammates' units, because you can do that. But here we go with the Scarab, and a whole bunch of engineers. It looks like that's 15 engineers, not quite 30. I'm not sure what the rest of his population is. But maybe they just aren't there yet. So I'm going to drop the Super Mac. The engineers are all, sta well not all stasis, but a lot of them were stasis. And Calm Banana should be able to finish off that Scarab. Oh, but he gets Super mac oh He does a clutch dodge, but here comes the other Super Mac. There is no escape. You cannot escape 8 Mac Blast Scarab. What are you thinking? Then, yep. He gets finished off there, and they still have like 2 Mac Blasts left. That sucks, man. You really... There's no point in even trying to build a Scarab against two cutters. Or is there? Will Calm Banana build another Scarab? I think he will. He's got the ball. I think Calm Banana's... And Calm Banana and Buttercup together are the ballsiest Super Turtles I play with. I mean, we're playing against Double Cutter Arbiter right now. That's insane. That's stupid. <laughs> I mean, the point of the Super Turtle is to have a good time, basically. Have fun. Watch these people fail with their attacks, because it's hilarious. I find it hilarious. That's why I like the Super Turtle. But getting my shit Mac blasted eight times, I don't think that's very hilarious, and I don't enjoy that at all. But anyways, here comes some ODST squads. There are some tanks backing them up, so my flamers are just going to have to be careful and hopefully the Vulcan will defend them. Hope I think the Vulcan can actually shoot all the way to where that tank is. Maybe not, because it doesn't look like it is. Uh, I think that... Nope, nope, they are shooting through the Marines, and I think the piercing shot can hit that tank. Maybe. 
I don't know. But the engineers are coming to my base. Calm Banana uh, doesn't like to... He uses all of his engineers at once, so... I mean, they're all in the same place at once. But that's just something you have to deal with when your covenant makes scarabs. You can't have a whole ass load of engineers all over the place because 20 of his population is that scarab. So, just something to keep in mind. Scarabs are good, but it's just less engineers that you'll have. So, it's whatever your preference is. Also, it's less vampires, so... If you're up against, like, Double Covenant and an Anders or something, just don't even build a Scarab. You're gonna want more Engineers. Or, I don't know. It's all up to you, man. <laughs> There's no rules to Super Turtling. You do whatever you want. These ODSTs are still at the back of my base, but they aren't really doing shit because they're ODSTs and they suck. And just being annoying. There's an Arbiter up here raging around. Buttercups. Claims to drop the D-bomb, and it stops the Arbiter dead in his tracks, and he's dead. That's another important thing that newbie noobs don't do. Call out when you're going to drop the D-bomb, and then drop it. Don't say, I'm dropping the D-bomb while you're dropping it, because one of your teammates might already be dropping it, and then you'll drop two D-bombs and look like an idiot. So, there you go. It's 5.25 a.m. Oh, boy. It's not often that I'm up that early in the morning, but we are the early bird super turtle, I guess you could call this one. This was played directly after the nocturnal super turtle, because I still I was like 30, 30 something thousand points away from getting my general, which is basically max score. I had to get max score this game, which means I could not lose very many units. I definitely could not lose my base. Losing your base kills your multiplier, by the way. Which I did lose my main base, but that's all. That's pretty much all you can lose as long as you're killing a whole bunch of stuff, which I'm going over to Orange and blowing up his supply pads and his turrets and stuff, so keep just trying to keep my multiplier up. My combat efficiency. I have like eight flamers there. That's pretty good, at, honestly. If they're going to be pushing with more hunters and ODSTs, because I mean, that's two cutters. They're both making ODSTs, so we do need some anti infantry. Two scarabs there. Get cryo bombed. I'm going to Mac blast both of them while Calm Banana vortexes them. And that should be able to kill them both. There are engineers now on that one in the back. Call. Home Banana's Scarab is back behind the reactor, and boom, down it goes. That's where I like to put my Cobras on this side, by the way. Up on, up where my base is, if I wasn't going to set up a Vulcan, I would just surround my supply pads and stuff with Cobras. But here, I like to put the Cobras pretty much around the reactor, and then maybe put some down by Red's base. But anyways, it's getting some more veterancy. And then once again coming up and getting some more veterancy. This orange guy was pretty much trying to fend me off of his base with these ODST squads. And I'm just happily devouring them. Getting more points, more veterancy. I think that was in the end what convinced me to super turtle these guys. Calm I was like, dude, you know how much ODSTs these guys are going to make. You're going to get a whole bunch of points and get your general. I was like, yeah, you're right. It's like 5 a.m. anyway, I didn't want to keep searching, so... Here we go, another ODST push and some Cobras up, backing them up. Uh, I dropped... you saw me drop the D-bomb right on... Call, er, what's his face? Buttercup. Right on Buttercup's Ella Vulcan there, because I had been paying them those visits and Mac blasting his Cobras and canistering his buildings. I knew he wanted to come up here and Mac blast something, so I just immediately debombed his Vulcan there because it doesn't really have that much battery oh my god more hunters down here my flamers are nowhere to be found should just leave four flamer squads on each side there and they're just trying to focus down calm bananas poor scarab which there really isn't a point to doing they could just eight mac it whenever they want and kill it 
But I guess Orange forgot about his Mac Blast because he was going to drop it on the Vulcan, but now he isn't using it on anything. Oh, actually, I think they just uh, super macked my base, and now they're going to super mac it again. Oh no! Come, Banana! Leave three engineers on my base, please! Oh my god! My flamers are here to keep these ODSTs at bay, but my base is red health, and that's not good. Fortunately, they don't really have a lot of finishing damage up there since they used both of their Mac Blasts already to take my base down that far in the first place. So, they're going to have to go back to the drawing board, and trust me, they will. These guys are hell-bent on winning this game. So, let's see what they bring next. I'm going to heal up this base and just finish off the rest of these stupid ODSTs. Okay, here we are in the future, and it looks like another D-bomb just dropped there, I believe, because they thought Calm Banana was going to come up there and start vortexing them, which he probably was, but now he can just use his gravity hammer and kill them all. It looks like there's some hunters pushing up here now, not very many though, and Calm Banana is cheaped and should be able to handle all that. I don't see, yeah, I see like maybe five or six hunters there, like three cobras. That is all Calm Bananas Chieftain, and I'm going to come up here and get some more veterancy. Oh no! Orange is setting up the Cobra line. Whatever will I do? Fortunately, they aren't locked down, so <coughs> I can just shoot them with my tanks and most likely kill them before they are able to lock down. So I do kill both of those Cobras. However, there are two Cobras locked down there now, and he tried to surround me the ODSTs again, but he didn't quite succeed in that. But anyways, here we are in the future again. There's a full pop of Sacrifice Banshees that has boosted to the back of my base, and fortunately this time Calm Banana does have a few engineers on my base already, so they are all shooting at the center of my base, and now here come the Mac Blasts. Green, obviously, is just going to shoot all four of them right there, but Orange, for whatever reason, just decides to drop one, and then drop one other, and then drop another, and then drop another. Had he just spammed Mac my base like Green did, they probably would have killed it. But, fortunately, Orange is rather new to the game, and he slowly Mac blasts my base, and it doesn't go down. So just something to keep in mind. If you're going to Mac Blast something, Mac Blast it like you mean it. Don't think about it in between Mac Blasting or else you're not going to be able to do anything with it. You're just going to suck. You hear me, MMG Zero? You suck. I don't think he's ever going to watch this. <laughs> the only people I think would actually watch my videos if I super turtled them would be... Like Kratos9, the general. He may watch this someday. Maybe. Doubtful. Anyways. They are going to keep my reactors alive, so awesome. I didn't even lose one building. Thanks, guys. This time I'm going to switch it up and show up to this green base down here where Buttercup expansion used to be. And there aren't very many buildings on it, so I'm just going to aim for the core and try to take out this base for some sweet, sweet veterancy. You can see how fast these tanks can take it down, but just you wait. Once these tanks get more stars, how fast they'll be able to take out bases. So after doing that, I try to show up here to Orange again, and once again, he's just trying to defend his base from my three tanks. It's hilarious how we defend off. We defend against their entire populations of units, and then they on the other hand, try to fend off our three Spartan tanks by their bases by setting up Cobra lines and ODSTs and shit like that. It's entertaining. But I gotta defend against these Spartan tanks. Oh god! Here comes the full pop of Sacrifice Banshees to finally put a stop to what my tanks have been doing to his poor orange teammate. Calm Banana trying to do the stasis glitch even to save me, but it's just not going to work. That Spartan needs to get out of there. They are all shooting right at him, trying to kill him. 
If I were to try and jack a banshee right now, he would die. He would get killed. So there's only one thing I can do. And that is create the magic school bus and put him inside of the elephant. So, my Spartan is going... I mean, that Olive Vulcan now is invincible. They could mac it all they want, and there's no way they would be able to kill it all. They may bring those Cobras down pretty low, pretty close to black bar health maybe, but I don't think they can kill that with their mac blast now. Anyways... I still have my two tanks left, and I'm going to try and get more veterancy. I was pretty upset that I was forced, basically. Oh god, the MLG Pro cock blocking with ODST squads. It really doesn't work that well. I mean, if you're going to do it, you need to Mac Blast the tanks immediately after surrounding them, because otherwise the tanks are just going to blow up your marines and just drive on through like I did. But, anyways, I digress. That elephant, though, I don't know. I wasn't too sure what to do. I wanted to unlock it and kill it because I wanted my Spartan back, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. These ODST squads are trying to take me out of that sniper tower there. And that's a lot of ODSTs. Imagine if you were the squad up in that sniper tower. And there is like, I mean, each squad has, what, six people in it? with that many people all shooting at you <laughs> and he's, they're just taking it oh god the super mac be careful buttercup oh he's just he's just threatening us with it so these are this is just more free veterancy for us i mean he can't even kill the odsts in that tower he doesn't do enough damage all the odsts of course are dying very fast and I think the medic is the last one in the squad that stays alive so as the units die they aren't able to shoot and the ODST squad survives beats the odds I think uh, I was gonna take my squad out of that tower though and let Calm Banana put a jackal in there anyways here we are in the future once again we have a whole bunch of hunters pushing up they just super macked uh, Calm Banana Scarab there. Looks like a lot of the engineers absorbed that. Also, one of my fucking Cobras again. I don't understand why they're macking that Scarab. Clearly, but my Cobra ends up blowing up instead. Whatever, man. I'm gonna bring up my Flamers to try and save Calm Banana Scarab. And this, yeah, this is a lot of Hunters, so... He's just gonna have to sit there and take it. We have all of our tanks here to help, too. So that's at least good. They can't really decide on what they all want to shoot at. They're kind of just spraying their assault beam around. Looks like they actually super macked Calm Banana's base. They may have. I actually may have octo macked it because that whole shield is gone and so is half the base's health. So Calm Banana, will he be able to heal his base in time? Well, of course they will. They may be able to do all that damage all at once, but they don't have a lot of DPS other than that. So. They won't be able to finish it off unless they have a whole bunch of units surrounding it, like Banshees or something. There is a green power turret tank there. Oh boy, what will we do if green starts building power tower tur tower turret tank? Derp derp. Um. Oh, bananas just trying to get his summit up. You don't want to build. Eh, I don't know. I guess his buildings are in the right spot. I was about to critique him on that, but he's good. You're good, dude. Anyways, in the future, just trying to get more veterancy. I think Orange has stopped building turrets. <laughs> I mean, after the 20th time, you think he would get it and stop building the turrets. So, anyways, here we are in the future again. We see some banshees up on the plateau here. Calm Earth. Buttercup is going to give him a chilling reminder of why he should be more careful with his banshees and we were able to see him there and anyways what are we doing now oh my god man oh boy here come the vultures full pop of vultures that's what you save your mac blast for because the mac blast of course will take out the vulture looks like one of my macs completely whiffs and misses and all those vultures also managed to hang on with like a little bit of a little sliver of health. Here comes the Octomac on Calm Banana's base. 
Oh boy, Orange is taking his time once again, letting Green take the lead, but all the Mac Blasts do fall this time, and it is... Calm Bananas Engineers are not enough. Another Mac Blast, just to add insult to injury. And here come the ODSTs. Two people spamming ODSTs on the same base. Very dangerous stuff. So, this is the, the time when you have to make a choice. Do you keep super turtling, or do you end it? Which, we weren't going to go end it, but I was going to kill this base here. Just kill all the turrets, kill some pads off of it. Getting veterancy, of course. I still want to get veterancy, because we want to keep turtling. But... I want to take out this base for Calm Banana just in case he needs to take it and to keep himself from being defeated. Because you can have all the units you want, you can have all the veterancy you want. If you get defeated, it's all dead. It doesn't matter for anything. DEAD! Anyways. I believe Buttercup will begin doing the same. Actually, I think he's just down there trying to push off those units that are in the turtle shell right now, but. Look how fast this base is dying. This is only two tanks, also. You saw how fast that other base died with three tanks. Well, this is two, and that base is dead. So I will leave an ODST squad there so that Calm Banana can see it still. And I guess I'm going to start clearing out this one. I think I was on kill them mode. Like, okay, time to end the turtle. Nope, nope, maybe not. They are still spamming all those sacrifice Banshees to the back of his base. I mean, this is what you do to stop a one base turtle. You just spam, spam at that base if you manage to kill it. Fortunately for us, they don't really have... They have all those bases, so you know that they have just as much money as we do. So they really could be setting up a base completely dedicated to summits or air pads. And they could really be spamming us with that. But, as you can see, there's only a couple Banshees showing up at a time, giving Calm Banana and me some veterancy on our anti-air. Orange is going to retake that base, and we're okay with that, because Calm Banana is no longer in the danger zone. But how much veterancy will I get on my Wolverines? How much veterancy will I get on my Spartan tanks? Will Calm Banana's base survive the Banshee Locust Onslaught? And what does, by the way, it's Ben have to say about all this? Find out next time on the Early Bird Super Turtle Part 2. See you guys next time. Bye.